donated it to spawn for us to uh, fight and then donate the beacon to spawn. Um, so a couple days later, I was on the server. There was like three other people on. It was me, Chris, uh, or Crash, Dylan, and I want to say, I want to say Mama Slime. And I'm like, hey, we sh we're all on. We should fight the Wither right now. And we messaged in the Skype, in the in the Cloudblock chat, like, hey, we're gonna fight the Wither. Does anyone else want in? And like two other people said they could join. So that was once again like six of the ten people that were gonna do it. Yeah. A couple minutes later, Kai messages us in the Skype chat saying, like, hey, have you guys fought it yet? And we said, no. He said, okay, could you hold off till tomorrow so I could be in it too? I said, sure, I'm not going to be on tomorrow because I have work, but if you guys want to plan it for tomorrow, that's fine, as long as it's all you guys. Well, the next, the next day, he posts a video of him oh fighting the Wither solo. And when I confronted him about that, he decides to tell me, he's like, well, it was never uh, discussed in, to me, or it was never discussed with me. I'm like, um, you responded in the chat immediately after us, asking if us as a group had fought in it yet. We said no, and you said, can we hold off so you can join too? Anyway, I, I let that go. I'm like, fine, whatever, whatever, I, whatever. He lied, he, whatever. It, it's not a big deal. It's just a weather fight. Yeah. I went and I fought three more myself, and it was fine. Well... Come, uh, what was it, Tuesday, he posted a video of him finding the stronghold by himself. Now, he didn't go through, he didn't go through the portal, but he, like, if he had stumbled across it, if he was vein mining and he finds some stone bricks and he goes, oh, what's this? And he goes inside and he's like, oh, crap, it's the, the, the stronghold. This is oh. weird. That would have been one thing. His video was him with it, Eyes of Ender searching out for the stronghold. Oh, my God. Not even a single message in chat was was typed out saying, hey, I'm going to look for the stronghold. Does anyone want to join? Now, to give some backstory, when, when I first joined, he said that this server was all about collaborations. He wanted to see teamwork. He wanted to see collaborations between people. He is the only person who has not collabed once. He co I'm sorry, he did. He collabed once with his friend, Digital, who they've been long-standing friends. Other than that, he hasn't collabed once. I've collabed with almost every single person on the server. Striker has collabed with every single person on the server. And Digital or uh, uh, Kai hasn't done it once. So once again, let me actually bring up the chat now, because this is where it gets kind of fuzzy. So I say... Scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. Um... Oh, I'm sorry. He actually typed in after after the the uh, Wither uprising. Uh, he said, "All right, well, I'm sorry, team. Honestly, I don't know what I was thinking when I recorded it. I was more in the state of don't know what to record and did it. That's no excuse. If you all forgive me for this, um, then I'll be the one in debt. It was selfish of me to do things like this. I'm gone away this weekend, but I hope you can all forgive me, and I hope I can get over this quote unquote server owner do what I want attitude I took up yesterday. That's what he said. He said that. Fine. He apologized. Not a big deal." So then, um, where did this go? Oh, that's right, I'm in the wrong chat, that's why, son of a bitch. Hey, right. um... So I, I typed in chat, I said, was I the only one that thought we were waiting to look for the end portal? Three other people said, no, you weren't, I thought we were going to wait too. Kai responds, yeah, that was never discussed, at least not with me, like I said, I never went through, so chill out. Um, I'm like, it was just that we had the courtesy to think of others. If you had stumbled across it, then fine, but you planned to go find it. I would have at least posted a message here letting us know you were going to and see if anyone wanted to join. But nope, just did it yourself. Just like with the Wither Boss, luckily there was nothing else for you to do first to take away from us. Um, he responded with not apologizing for something that was never discussed. What's the big uh, deal of finding the portal? Nothing, because it's just another space on the map. I'm like, okay, so why did we wait to find the Nether Fortress as a group? If it was just another space on the map, we had common courtesy because that is one of the things about starting a new world, finding Nether Fortresses, finding the Stronghold, fighting the first Wither, fighting the Dragon. You stole the Wither fight from the group. We had discussed it in the chat. Um, as doing it as a group, you saw the discussion and decided to fight it solo after we postponed it so you could do it. Then lied to all, all of us saying that it was never discussed. 
Um, even though we, you responded to us as we were discussing it and asked if it had been done yet and asked us to wait as a group until you could do it too. Just saying common sense and common courtesy goes a long way. Oh my god. He's like, oh, we waited for the fortress? I never got an invite. And also, it's my server. I pay so you play. Just saying. Um, and then I said, uh, and now the real opinion comes out, not we are a community, not we are in this together. No, it's your server and you do what you wish because you are better than us. Nice to know where we stand. He goes, Leo, you know that I pay for this. Um, it would never be a true community. And then he shut the server down at that point. He turned it off. Um, like, he took it offline. And then he uh, talked to Dylan, I guess, in, in a chat, right. in like a private chat between the two of them. And yeah. said, um, and then removed him from the cloud block Talk chat and said, um, well, that was long awaited. Sorry for the confusion, yeah. but that needed to be cleared up. Dylan and I have come to the conclusion that he will no longer be part of cloud block. That's what he said in the chat. Dylan and I came to the conclusion that he'll no longer be part of cloud block. The, conversa the conversation between him and, and I can send you screenshots of this. Uh, this is the screenshots from Dylan to me. I have a conversation between Dylan and Kai. Let me know when you're done with that. This is right before he got removed. Wow. Oh my. So that was that was them deciding as a or uh, coming up to the conclusion together that Dylan will no longer be part of Cloud Block. Okay, so then Digital said, Leo, seriously, can you please like PM me all the issues I have so I slash we can try to resolve them? I'm like, all my issues have been posted in this chat, all of them. But just to make it easier, I'll repost them. I put them in a list. I'm like, we plan to fight the Wither as a group. Several of us are online, ready to fight it, but ask one more time in the chat and are asked by Kai to wait until the next day so he can join. He then fights it solo without letting anybody else know. When called out on it, he lies and says he was unaware, unaware of our plans to previously fight it as a group, even though he responded to us in the group chat asking us to wait. He then goes out of his way to find the stronghold without so much as a message in the chat asking if anyone else wanted to join. Claims we never discussed it, so we shouldn't be mad, even though we waited to find the Nether Fortress as a group as common courtesy. When called, about, called out about this in chat, he proclaims that because he pays for the server, he can do whatever he wants. Um, also, he stated that this started out as a community where collabs were not only encouraged but required, and Kai has done collabs with di uh, Digital, and that's it. He then kicks Dylan from the, the server, claiming it was a decision made by the both of them, even though it was strictly Kai who made the choice without consulting anybody else in the cloud block chat. Then claims that all of uh, the then claims that these complaints, quote unquote, made against Dylan are something we should care about as a group. Yet nobody in the chat is aware of any complaints ever made against Dylan. He he claimed that there were all these complaints made against him by other members, but yet nobody knows about any of these complaints. Um, and then he was offline during this, and then I remember the or actually Taco reminded me of the comment, the all right, well I'm sorry team about the wither fight where he apologized and said he hopes to get over this server owner do whatever I want attitude. So I went up and I found that I copied and pasted it and posted it back into the chat and said, oh by the way, yeah that happened. And then uh, he said, want me to close the server, Leo? Is that what you want? I will. LOL. My God. I'm like, honestly, Kai, you did this to yourself. Your uh, selfish leadership and holier-than-thou attitude is unbearable. You feel like you are higher than us because you pay for it? That is not the way to run an SMP. You said you wanted this to be a community, yet you have never collabed with anyone other than you and your good friend Digital out of a 10-second clip here and there. You chose a shitty seed and ran it into the ground. I doubt many others are going to stay after all this has gone down, so enjoy your SSP as long as you wish to pay for it. Lol. And then I, I left the chat. Um, let me see if I can find, uh, other people were still in the chat. Um, yeah. Yeah, I've been recording this call, so we can actually refer to this. He said, well, I guess this is it. Sorry to those who just joined, but Cloudblock is no more. I was hoping for yeah, heaven and ended up thing. being the devil. Yeah, can't be a server owner and can't deal with guys like, like Leo. Sure, I made my mistakes, but all in all, I tried my best. Sorry, I, but I guess this is it. Yeah. <laughs> and then other people, like, messaged him to see what he was going to say. Um... 
And then the, he said, well, Leo is the one to start fires. Too bad. I kind of liked him. He said it was all me. He's gonna, and he's posting a video later today. I've been waiting for it um, <laughs> to see what he's going to say to determine what I'm going to say. If he takes the high road and just says it was not working between everybody, I'll say the same thing. I said, hey, it just wasn't working. We shut it down. Um, if he says that, if he tries to call me out personally and say it was all my fault, I'm going to have screenshots of everything that was actually gone on and put it in the video and see how he likes that. Yeah. So that's basically what happened. Wow. Well, you've been recording the call. That's fucked up. <laughs> you should uh, you should join Cronus. <laughs> Uh, he's going to start Cloud Block <laughs> Season 2 with people he actually trusts. But you can, you can check with Striker, Taco, uh, Dark, nope, we have Dylan, Taco, Chris, man. and Mumbo. All of us were in a call while all this was going on. <laughs> and we all had all the evidence that was actually put in front of us, yeah. not what like Kai Chinese was saying. The people in Cronus want to be the Like I said, I mean, the, the, the conversation between him, like him and Dylan where they mutually so then, decided that Dylan would no longer like, continue with Cloud Block, like, which was, was not gonna, at all what happened. Probably gonna cause a lot of drama. About all these random complaints that were made against Dylan that nobody else was made aware of. We voted on, on who to add on the server, but yet when people are removed randomly, <laughs> we're not even told about it. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah.